Good morning, cellists, cello players, cello geeks, cello nerds, cello nathers. Yeah, whatever. It's it's early morning and I'm still waking up. Welcome anyway to cello daily exercise number four. So today, as promised, uh, I would practice again with you on the right hand. Today we are gonna check on spiccato. So spiccato it's a, an annoying one. Um, for some cellists it goes fine, but for others, yeah, it's a little bit tricky. So I'm, go I'm just gonna give you a basic uh, exercise, what you can do, you know, so that bit by bit, you know, you can get it, how it works. So let's see what we can do. So first step we want to do here. So we play a normal detaché on the string. So if you saw my uh, video from yesterday, the number three, where I'm showing with these two fingers, that these two fingers are very important here. So if you missed it, no problem then. You do like this, etc. If you watched it and if you applied it, okay, fine. Then you can go like this. You take the bow normally and you play the detaché. Right, with the relaxation, like that. Not pressing, because if you press, your spiccato becomes like this, which is totally wrong. Spiccato must be coming from the wrist and these fingers. So. Let's do this again. Until you get this feeling. Now, after you did this, it's something that is not really usual, but my teachers, they taught me this and you know, it kind of worked. It will demand time, but it works. So now, spiccato is actually detaché, but coming from the air. So what we want to do now, is we start playing the detaché instead on the string we start on the air like that and bit by bit you are going down onto the string see so let me show that again so we do the detaché like this blah 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 and we hit the string bit by bit You see it's a, it's a more relaxed feel so no pressing so don't if you play detaché like this it won't work the speak out so if you, we do like that see it doesn't sound right so relax okay I'm sorry it's morning so so use all the hairs um, sometimes you know we want to play more like that with the wood you know and then it comes this sound so we hit the wood and it doesn't sound so try to use all the hairs so you have more volume on the spiccato show you so first step normal detaché see and where my bow is it's not here it's not here at the frog it's here more or less watch my fingers strong but relax in the meantime fine second step same movement from the air and bit by bit going down onto the string. With all the hair of the bow, see? You can practice scales uh, or etudes uh, from popper, etc. This is your choice, but try this basic thing that I just explained. All right. That was it for today. Now I'm gonna have my coffee, you too, after practicing this. And I'll see you tomorrow with a left hand exercise.
and it's gonna get old but still i think it's very important to mention this no practice no breakfast see you